Hi there. I am really looking forward to my visit to Huron in November and spending a day with the management team. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to, during the course of the day, I'm going to challenge you to think about what we call your invisible architecture. Foundation of core values, superstructure of culture, and interior finish of attitude in the workplace. We're going to use this, the Cultural Blueprinting Toolkit Workbook. You'll each get a copy. You'll each get some of the tools that we're going to use. But I want to make two important points ahead of time. First of all, we're going to talk about creating a more positive, more productive, more constructive culture of ownership. Uh, we're going to talk about culture change. But culture does not change unless and until people change. And people will not change unless they see a personal interest in making that change. And so I would like you to emphasize to each other and to your people that this isn't really just about changing the culture. It's really about helping us be better people, better caregivers, better managers, better leaders, better parents, better citizens in our community. If we do that, we're going to create a much more positive culture. Second important point. We have worked with more than 100 hospitals across the country. We have seen everything from hit it out of the park culture change where a year or so later the place is palpably more positive, palpably more productive. You can actually measure it on the bottom line. And we've worked with organizations where a year or so later there really wasn't much difference. And the number one difference, the key distinction between hitting it out of the park and grounding out is the enthusiasm, the commitment, the passion of the middle management team. And that's what I'm hoping I'll get from you, is enthusiasm, is passion, is commitment, all of the eight essential characteristics of a culture of ownership. You have to model those if you're going to expect your coworkers to model them. And that's what I'm going to challenge you to do when I'm there in November. I will see you then.